Hello there, good people. Welcome to It's a Shaw Thing. I'm your host, Rob Shaw, here to talk a little fantasy football. And if you're looking for a place to play some football, head over to foxsports.com. It's called the Fantasy Quick Challenge. Some great games there because it allows you to pick up and start a fantasy league all over again, starting from week 12 on. So this is a little different. You might have had some injuries for your other fantasy team. This might have had a bad draft. No need to panic. You could start all over again. Have some fun at foxsports.com. It's called the Quick Challenge there. And we're going to discuss salary cap. Some of the best players to pick up this week if you're looking to participate in the salary cap leagues. And by the way, feel free to challenge me if you think some of my picks are bad. Email us at fantasycontent@opensports.com. We start off at the quarterback position. I expect a big bounce back performance from Carson Palmer and the Cincinnati Bengals. He actually wasn't that bad in the loss to the Raiders. Did score two touchdowns on the ground, which is great news for any quarterback. However, he is expected to do much better this week. And let me explain. They're playing against the Cleveland Browns. Remember them? Matthew Stafford threw for over 420 yards and five touchdowns against them. So all should be good for him. I'll have more on the Bengals in just a little bit. We move on to the running back position. Ricky Williams fresh off three touchdowns and over 100 rushing yards. Do I expect that every week? No, but I do expect huge numbers from him. This is a guy with 10 touchdowns, and he leads the Finns in rushing yards. Even though he only has one start this season, ever since Ronnie Brown went down with an injury. So Ricky Williams, in my opinion, an elite running back at this point. You can get him for good value right now. Go ahead and pick him up. Next up, Javon Snelling, the running back for the Atlanta Falcons. Not always lost this weekend when the Falcons lost to the New York Giants. No. They found out they had a pretty good second running back since Michael Turner's probably going to be out for a while. Javon Snelling's a name to know. This is a guy who's replaced Jarius Norwood as a backup. Norwood had been injured. He's expected to return this weekend, but it doesn't matter. Two touchdowns on the ground last weekend for Snelling. Expect big numbers for him this week against Tampa Bay. We move on to the wide receiver position. I said we get back to the Bengals. The name to know is Chad Ochocinco. You've heard of him before. He's been quiet the last couple of years, but this year he's back in a big way on pace for well over 1,000 receiving yards already with five touchdowns on the season. And expect big numbers from him. Again, he's going against the Cleveland Browns. Also, another good wide receiver is Greg Jennings. He's going against Detroit, which is the other team, that ugly 37-36 win for the Lions. The Browns under Brady Quinn put up huge numbers in that game. So you have to imagine that Aaron Rodgers will have even more success this time. He's coming off a fine performance with five receptions, 126 yards, and a touchdown for the pack. And then we finish off with tight end and you got to go with Dallas Clark. He is the best in the business. Reminds me a lot of Jason Witten from a couple of years ago because he keeps on getting many passes, not necessarily the touchdowns, but plenty of receptions and plenty of yardage. Going against Houston this weekend with the Colts, so that being said, should be a fantastic shootout. Invest heavily in Dallas Clark. Well, my friends, that's all for now. Again, check us out, foxsports.com, for the Fantasy Quick Challenge. Great way to enjoy the weekend. Also, you can challenge me. Send us an email at fantasycontent@opensports.com.